So I was given the new Ortour YRC rotary chuck. So I figured I'd go through the process of assembling it in real time. Separate compartments. Nice little container for the parts. That's it. Obviously, you can slide the foot on. This is very, actually, very heavy metal aluminum, it looks like. All right, so let's shoot for no instructions. Level, go with that tape measure. Adjustment knobs, different feet or fingers or whatever you want to call those. Allen wrench. Let's see, some more fingers, couple washers, and some little screws, which I assume attach the fingers. First thought would be that a couple of these screws, which would probably be these knobs, probably go in the side. All right, let's go with the step down finger. I'm sure you can put it on there and it's fully adjustable because there are holes all in here so you can adjust these things for different diameter pieces that you're engraving. Uh, what we're going to engrave today is some uh, metal tumblers. I will figure out which feet are best for those but two screws to hold them on. Tighten or loosen. That, that's it. All right so now we're at the laser and for this engraving I decided to go with these L-shaped fingers and it's a simple install. You just get them lined up to the, the correct holes and then with the screws and the Allen wrench you just tighten this down. So now with that tight you can see how this adjustment is done. With that back piece, you can wind it, draw it closer together. What I'm engraving is this. So I'm just gonna set that in there, tighten it, solid. So just set that down inside laser. And we should be good to go. All right, to hook up the wire, loosen this, lift this up, and get the right end, plugs in here, slides in, just like that. All right, before we go in the software, to set up the software, we've got to measure the circumference of this thing. I'm going to measure with the provided tape that they sent with the machine uh, in millimeters. I will call it 235 millimeters. And we're gonna get the diameter, and I'm gonna use caliper to do this, is 2.85555 inches. And in the software, we're gonna go to laser tools, rotary setup, I'm gonna set it for chuck, Enable rotary. The object is 2.555 inches. The rotary axis is the Y axis. Okay. To test this, I'm gonna create a, a rectangle here. And I'm gonna make this height of this square nine inches. Select, move it down into somewhere roughly in the center of my bed. So this is the circumference from here to here of the tumbler. The height, which is, I'm gonna take it seven inches. Seven. All right. So that square represents the field that we're working on. Tool so it doesn't engrave. 
So now we know that we're working inside this field. All right, so I've gotten my artwork loaded into Lightburn. Um, I did rotate it 90 degrees, knowing that the top of the tumbler is on this side over here. As you can see, the wording is mirrored. So I hit the little mirror button up here, and I believe you have to do that. But I have set everything up for current position. You can see it's set up. I have the laser set um, in position. So let's go ahead and hit start. Now we got to clean it. That is cool. Reversing the image did work. Tell you what, some of the details on it. See the stripes and the flag. I wanted to say thanks to Sinus Mall for sending me this or tour YRC. I'm very impressed with it. It goes well with the, the Laser Master Pro 2 that I have, and uh, I am gonna get a lot of use out of this thing. If you're on the market looking for something like this, it's not too expensive. I've, I've done some of these for a local nonprofit group. They're gonna sell them as a fundraising item, and I will probably do 100 of those, which will more than pay for this thing and it still will raise some funds for a good cause. So check the link in the description. I'll pin it on the top so that you can get to it easily and uh, enjoy.